Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel World of Software Testing. So in our previous lectures, uh, we have covered the concepts of smoke, smoke testing, sanity testing and, and the differences between smoke testing and sanity testing. So let's discuss about one more testing type that is end-to-end -end testing in this lecture. So the end-to-end -end testing uh, is also referred to as a uh, E2E testing. Uh, in short, we can consider it as a uh, E2E testing. The end-to-end -end testing is a software testing technique uh, that verifies uh, the functionalities and uh, performance of an entire software application from start to finish by uh, simulating the real-world user scenarios and replicating the live data. So the, the, uh, the main objective of end-to-end -end testing is to identify the bugs uh, that arises uh, when all the components are integrated ensuring that the application delivers the expected output as a unified entity. So uh, the testing the overall functionalities of the system including the data integration among all the modules is nothing but a end-to-end -end testing. So every, uh, every module uh, to be tested end-to-end uh, -end, such as login, add user, end user, delete user or the logout, logout one. So uh, this is the example of end-to-end uh, -end testing. So let's say um, the user uh, log, in, log in to the bank account, then the view account balance, then uh, transfer money, then check uh, the account balance, updated account balance, and then log out from the bank account. So this is a complete uh, workflow, uh, workflow, and we are testing it end to end. So the login, uh, uh, the login into the banking system, then uh, check for the balance amount uh, in the account transfer the some transfer some amount from your account to some other account third party uh, subsystem uh, check your latest account balance and then log out of the application so this is the example of end to end uh, testing so what are the benefits of uh, end to end testing so the first one is back end qa the end to end testing uh, first verifies the back end layers especially the database of the application uh, which feeds the critical information to other layers for the application to work. The second one is ensure consistent application quality across environments. The end-to-end -end testing uh, verifies the front end ensuring that the application works as intended across the wide range of browsers, devices and platforms. The cross-browser testing is frequently performed uh, for this uh, purpose. The third one is third party application testing. So there are uh, uh, external systems integrated into the application to perform highly specific tasks. The end to end testing ensures the compatibility between the external and internal systems as well as the data communication between these different systems. The next one is the quality management across the multiple uh, application levels. So the modern applications are built on the uh, built upon the uh, complex architecture consisting of multiple layers uh, with interconnected workflows. These layers may work fine individually but uh, may get conflict with each other once connected. So the end-to-end -end testing can verify the interactions between these individual uh, layers and the components. So these are some of the uh, benefits of end-to-end -end testing. Let's uh, see some of the uh, challenges of end-to-end -end testing. So the end-to-end -end testing is a great way of uh, way to uh, test the software application, but it comes with some of the challenges too. So uh, the challenges present themselves because of, because the end-to-end -end testing is time consuming. So it takes a lot of uh, time and a lot of efforts uh, to perform the end-to-end -end testing. As, as all the uh, all the third party systems uh, all the complete uh, uh, modules are, are integrated and uh, uh, we need to test them the next is must it must be designed uh, to reproduce the real world scenarios and then the next one is requires a good understanding of user goals so again uh, for this uh, there must be a domain knowledge uh, there must be a user uh, user uh, uh, needs exact knowledge uh, we should have uh, to you know, perform the end to end testing so thanks for watching this video hope you have enjoyed watching it please do subscribe our youtube channel for such more videos thank you so much